Webb's passing. I got him in a, in a half guard and I shot the arm right here, okay? What I want to do is I need to be able to come up. For me to come up, I need to switch my feet, okay? The bottom leg has to be replaced by the top leg, okay? From here, this underhook, okay? I'm gonna use my free hand and now do it from the leg. I'm gonna drive here and I'm gonna drive hip across, 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 across. As I drive him through his back here, as I keep his foot and I'm gonna cross my feet here, okay? As I finish the knee bar, okay? You can have it that way or you can have it this way, okay? Most important is that your hips are above his knee and your feet are locking this out. The only other option he really has is to begin to turn his toes to the right, at which point you have a good pass right here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to have a half guard and an underhook here, okay? One other thing I could do is I could hook his leg here and I can begin to take him up this way here also as you see here i also have the knee ball okay so as we face in let's go feet that way so one way that we're going to do it which is easier is actually like this okay you have the underhook you dive underneath hook his leg my left hand underhook grabs his hip and I'm gonna just begin to take him up this way here as my feet just stay crossed. I didn't even remove my feet. As here, I'm gonna just keep rolling him to the back and I'm gonna come up to my knees so my feet slide down and then finish the knee. One more time. It's gonna be real, real simple. You're gonna use, you're gonna use this underhook in order to drive his weight into look with your left shoulder forward so that as he pushes back into you you're gonna hook here and i'm gonna take him all the way across right here i'm gonna keep his leg out i'm gonna find this right here knees go wide as the hips apply pressure i don't want to do this because i got to get the hips low here okay if i feel him turning his foot he'll turn his hip pinch this and then I'll begin to pass. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Okay. So all you're gonna do half guard under hook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this hand to drive into him. And oftentimes they drive back into you. And you can dive underneath as this hand hooks, and you're just gonna keep this configuration here as you roll. And I want you to roll to your knees. Careful with this left hand underneath. Open it up. And now, right here. I know that I am not in the proper position. My legs need to slide back. Hips, legs, hips. And I need to be right about there. Careful the way you drop your hips. Your knees have to go wide and here. Because you don't want to drop it too fast because it, it, it's a real super tight knee bar. Right here, okay? If I'm... Here, I don't have a knee bar. I have to slide down and open the knees so I can hip into it. In the worst case, you pinch and you have a good pass. Okay, so one last time. You're not even gonna switch your feet. Okay, so as I shoot this, I'm driving into him and right here, my right hand goes and I dive right under him. As I keep rolling, I even like to grab this collar here to keep his legs open here. Rotate your head to your right. Okay, we landed here. And now I'm going to slide back and straighten out his foot right here. You can do here, here, here. It's harder to finish. Here it's easier to finish because you have a fulcrum, which is your hip. If I'm too low, You don't really have it. And the problem here is you'll push your head and then you'll wind up in almost like a triangle. And you don't want to be here either because that's just not a good position to be. Okay, ready? One, two, three.
There's a perfect video of this on Instagram where uh, Joe 